good place to get ambushed. Watch your back. At least it's not too dry. Sounds like a party, or a fight. Your climbers seem tired, thanks, so then. For hunting, is your hold beast well? We hunt as well as ever, Thane Harrison. You would be safer under the shield of the jaws of Hyde. Task Fisherson has taken victory in sight of the Lady of the Skies. Pav, you owe four rounds to Hask, not me. Ha! Ted is tit. Wind, lift your oaths to the Lady of the Skies. And hand the rams over come sunrise. May your people be as strong as your hold beast. Why do they dress like that? What did I tell you? Poland is from the north. Why do they dress like that?
many curious about you, but the Thane would speak with you first. Always making up strange stories and looking at all these in books. You're a strange sight. I never thought we'd see so many lowlanders in the hold. You're a strange sight. I never thought we'd see so many lowlanders in the hold. Strange sight. Inquisitor, I am Svara Sunhair, Thane of Stone Bear Hold. You have guest welcome here. Your Inquisition has done much to heal the holes in the sky. We are grateful. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. We have not come to cause trouble in your home, Thane. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer is yours. Sadly, the jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. You have met their Thane, Gerd Harrifson. I wager you have crossed blades with the jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. How did you get the name Sunhair? I was born Svara Janusdottir. For my legend mark, I once fought a battle with my hair on fire. You lit your hair on fire? An enemy archer lit my hair on fire. I was locked shield to shield with a foe, and I had no time to douse it. It scared my foes. My hair was braided long enough that I could spare it. It stank worse than goat shit, though. When I first entered your hold, there was a climbing contest of some sort. What was that? The test of the lady. We use it to settle disputes when it is not clear who has the right of it. There are others. For the test of the Mountain Father, you battle with Verse, while those who favor you hold you aloft. The test of Hakon is battle with blunted weapons. It seems as fair a way as any to decide such matters. In many cases, the law is clear. The tests are only for real disputes. As Thane, I may guide the gods in finding who is worthy. I decide which test will settle the dispute. I may also ask a warrior whose claim is foolish to climb with stones strapped to his back. I'd like to hear more about Stone Bear Hold. We are not the largest hold, but our warriors are strong and our singers are pretty. Ah, oh, words are for boasting around the fireside. You should look yourself, if you will. I'd like to know more about the Jaws of Hakon. They are not the first hold to take that name. All have been foolish. What would you know of them? What do the Jaws of Hakon believe that makes them so angry? A wise man honors each god to its strength. Bjorn Reedbeard for fishing, Rilla of the Fireside for making babies. The Hakonites care only for Hakon Winter's breath, god of war and winter. There is no evil in Hakon. There are times to fight. But the jaws of Hakon care for nothing else. They raid, they fight. Eventually they die and their stories are forgotten. It is the way of things. You said that there were earlier groups known as the jaws of Hakon. Yes, many ages ago. They thought of nothing but slaughter glory. They attacked the lowlanders. Your people fought back and destroyed them. They were fools. What can you tell me about the people now calling themselves the Jaws of Hakon? 
They came here a few years ago. After the Blight took their hold. There was land enough for both, so we were friendly. We did not see their anger. Gerd Harrifson lost too many in his hold to Darkspawn. He thought only of battle and war. To avenge a wrong is a good thing. But only a fool lights the world on fire to do it. I'll speak with you later. Farewell. Inquisitor. The Hakonites are attacking my people. I would welcome any assistance you could offer. Bathing my blade in the blood of the Hakonites would be cause for a feast for most in this hold. For the Hakonites are fools, and they have forgotten the old ways. But we have pledged peace with them. To attack with lowlanders at our side would make us oathbreakers. This is poor weather for me to ask that of my hold. I understand your concern. Is there anything I could do to help? Among the Avar, a hold draws strength from its hold beast. They are as kin to us. When our hold beast is strong and happy, there is joy. When it sickens and dies, it is an ill omen. Our bear, Storvaka, has not been seen in days. The hold fears for her. I cannot ask the hold to break peace oaths unless Storvaka returns. Does Storvaka usually live in the hold? Does she stay in a pen or? <sighs> Pens are for goats and chickens, not hold kin. The Avar are free. So must be our hold beasts. Storvaka lives in a cave near the hold. She comes to visit if she wishes to see us. We bring her gifts of food. Not enough that she will not hunt for herself. Maybe I shouldn't bring this up, but bears and I traditionally do not get along. You were four bears. <laughs> you lived. Good for you. Fear will keep you respectful should you find Storvaka. You will be fine. So you're saying she's friendly? Um... Do you have members of the Hold searching for Storvaka? The Hold is already fearful. A great hunt for our hold beast would show weakness to the Hakonites. If she were dead, the Augur would know. So the hunters watch for tracks. That is all we can do. The way you asked us to help find Storvaka made it sound like you were willing to break your oath. I could say that Avar hold all oaths sacred. That no true Avar would break them. It would be a good lie. Lowlanders doubtless say the same of themselves. A cunning Thane can find a hole in the tent of any promise. A place for the cold wind to sneak in. We are bone and blood. Oaths last until they are broken. If I find your bear and you break the oath, what happens to Stone Bear Hold? Other holds share oaths with the jaws of Hakon. They are sworn to defend or avenge them. If the Hakonites were friends, they would attack us. But they are friends to few. We will send offerings, trade, and gifts to pay the price of oath-breaking. The storm will pass. I do not do this lightly, Inquisitor. But the Hakonites are tiresome. I'm a little confused about why I have to find a bear in order to gain the support of your tribe. Storvaka is not a bear. She is our hold beast. She ties us to the gods. Without her, we... Your maker has turned from you, has he not? It is as that. I know more of this world than the world of spirits. Speak with our Augur if you would know more. They're our gods, not yours. For you, it is enough that Storvaka matters to us. I was told I needed your permission to borrow a boat from the fisherman. Bah, Rolfson. He worries like a scared baby goat. The boat is yours. Tell him I said so. I'll speak with you later. Ask those in the hold about Storvaka. They may know something they have not told me.
you're the one they speak about in the lowlands, aren't you? The Herald of Andraste. Many call me that. Helmsdim Rolfson. I trade our goods outside the hold. You'll not find better this side of the mountain. Have you traveled outside of Stonebear Hold? Corth Mountain Father provides. But press us, and we'll admit there's lowlander goods we can't craft ourselves. I sell our goods there. The old trader taught me how to read and write, and how to act in your cities. Where does your trading take you? Denerim and Southreach in Ferelden. Leeds and Verche in Orlais. When the passes are clear, I take our wares to Val Royal. Surely you can get a fair price for your goods closer than Val Royo. Ah, well, that's truth, but have you seen it? My heart lies with the hold, but I'll die remembering the light on the gates of the sun. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. Everyone thinks I'm mad when I speak of Orlais. They believe I make half of it up. As if I could dream up those fountains and palaces, and those frilly little cakes. Most in the hold call any city outside the mountains prideful or lowlander folly. Farewell. Another time. See any wares you like? So he arrives. Don't throng. Behold, worthy ones, the man who blazes like fire and mends the air. Uh, that's a lot of not good. Oh, crap. It's safe. They mean no harm. I am the ogre of Stonebear Hold. I greet you, as do our gods and the gods of our ancestors. There. It is done. Now come, be welcome. But hear news of the North. I'd like to ask something. Then ask. I assume Augur is another word for mage. I am a mage. Yet not all mages are Augurs. I give counsel to other mages, and the same. In turn, an Augur takes counsel from the gods and shares it with the Hold. I make their will known to us, and ours to them. So you're an ambassador to the local spirits. Some have wisdom for those willing to listen. They protect the hold. They help drive off spirits who've gone bad with rage or gloom. The gods live with us. Ignore their offerings, offer them nothing, and it weakens us all. I've heard enough to realize that when you say gods, you mean spirits. Why do you pray to them? We offer to them. We don't pray like the lowlanders to a creator they think will weather all the ages. Do you actually think they're divine beings? Something more than magic? The spirits watched us even before we came from the north. They shaped themselves into our gods, and we grew to love them. Their secret gift is this, Inquisitor. They reflect us as water does the sky. They show us what we wish to be. That image gives us strength. For that, we thank the gods. I should be off. Farewell. Greetings, stranger. Be welcome. I'd like to... Then ask. Be welcome. Do you know where your hold beast may have gone? Stovaka? No. I've asked the gods, but they've seen no sign. Did you just introduce me to spirits? The gods of the hold clamored to see you. I obeyed. For I'm their voice, and their augur. And if I didn't show you off, they'd hound me for months. What did you mean when you said I blaze like a fire? How do you think you appear to the gods of the Fade? To those beyond the Veil, your hand burns like the Watchman's bonfire. I haven't found a way to stop it. 
You'd shun a favor from the gods? I see you've already killed one. A thing of envy that grasped for your crown. I should be off. Farewell. Be welcome. Was that you back at Skyhold, with the custard? <laughs> Did you see it? All down the stairs. It was beautiful. Our guests are welcome. So long as their weapons stay sheep. Inquisitor, you've need of a hunter, or you're just wandering. Now you Lowlanders see many holes, but I'll tell you, there are none finer. I assume you go hunting yourself. Of course I do. Who says otherwise? But no one. I lead our hunts, Inquisitor. My leg aches. One eye can't see in the dark. And I bring more meat than anyone in the hole. Goat's piss do I hunt. I apologize. I was just curious. <laughs> Suppose you can't help Lowlander's manners. Do you have any idea where Storbacker has gone? Our old animal's a hungry one. She might be after the game in the valley to the west. As the weather's turning, I'd not think she'd run further. Farewell. Farewell. Inquisitor, I'm honored by your visit. I'm Finn Co... Um... Finn Colvinson. Forgive me if I don't stand to greet you properly. How were you injured? A storm blew up a few months back. It's the worst we've seen in a while. I was helping to secure the fishing boat. Einar nearly fell in. I caught him, but the current caught me. My leg got crushed against the rocks. It hasn't set properly. You seem troubled. Is it your injury? In part. Gida Myrdotten prepares my father's body for sky burial. I knew it would be soon. I just... I miss him. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. Test yourself. How so? Our warriors want your measure, Inquisitor. Bring us an offering, and we'll let you fight Hakon's trials. Stonebear Hold would know if the spirits favor you. So would I. Do you run this arena? I do. I'm called Arkan Felsen. I prepare warriors for the gods. Truly, I drill it into young heads that no one's born knowing how the axe swings or the arrow flies. What do you mean? Prepare your warriors for the gods. As we train, the gods see us become worthy. Worthy of what? A second strength when you most need it. A glimpse that spots a blade at your heart. Warriors must show their will for these gifts, and the will for practice. Interesting. You draw in spirits influenced by these ritual battles to aid you during real conflict. Didn't I say as such? Yes, but... <clears throat> of course. My apologies. What is this trial, exactly? A battle against our best. Wit and muscle, and steel against steel. Not to death, just surrender. In case you're afraid. I didn't want to take a life for just a trial. Good, but don't hold back. The gods and I can tell. Why do you pray to Hakon when his fanatics cause you so much trouble? Akon Winter's Breath could be testing us through those fanatics. He could be a cruel god, Lowlander. He'll favor the victor and no other. Strength to strength. If the jaws of Hakon tried to raid us, we'll feed their scraps to the bears. Can we begin this trial of Hakon? 
We need an offering from you first. To honor Hakon and the dead. Can we begin this trial of Hakon? We need an offering from you first. To honor Hakon and the dead. Very well. Safe journeys. Well met. Creepy. Needs a hat. And breeches. Welcome, Inquisitor. Though I fear I've time for little more than a greeting, I must prepare these souls for their greater journey, particularly those who depart without the reverence due. Their way is often hardest. I'm not familiar with Avar funerals. May I ask what proper rites entail? When the time comes, we are given sky burials. For most, the body is laid out and prayers given. When the birds come, they carry the soul to the Lady of the Skies. The body, unneeded, is gone. For most? Some souls, such as Colden's, are chosen to return. The Augur reads the signs of birth. It is a rare honor. In order to return, an offering is made to Korth the Mountain Father and buried beneath the body. A piece of the soul thus remains allowing the rest to return to this world and be reborn. Will someone not be given proper rights? Calden Enverson is one of the few whose soul may return. Bloodkin must make an offering to the Huntmaster who prepares it. Or so it should be. Calden's son, Finn, has failed in this duty, but then... there's you. Me? You're a guest of our hold. A gift from you cannot be refused. Even an offering for Golden. I cannot dictate the nature of a gift, but if my suggestion appeals to you, speak to the Huntmaster. Golden's son is injured. It's not his fault he can't make the offering. As disappointing as that may be, it is not my place to ignore the gods' laws on a whim. I honor them in word and spirit, Inquisitor. You suggested a way around tradition by letting me make the offering. The spirits have seen Finn fail. To undo it may be to undo their will. A gift from another does not bear this weight. Holden's soul could travel easily. I should be off. Lady, keep you. You're the Inquisitor. I hear your people already sing songs of you. How are you so well informed? Oh, Helsdim soaks up gossip when he goes trading. He just returned from the lowlands. I'm Fulna Hethstotten. 
Keeper of histories, and Skull to the hold. I've never met a Skald. Is that anything like a bard? I suppose. Every hold has someone who sings its songs. Doesn't yours? Fair enough. We keep the old songs and histories, the oaths and the legend marks. I understood all of that except legend mark. The skull before me was born Gulda Elstotten. She crafted a great new tale for the hold. It pleased the spirits. After that, we called her Gulda Gildan's song. So their titles, honorifics. Not all carry glory. My father was Heth Mule's head. <sighs> he never let go of a quarrel. Can you choose a legend mark for yourself? <laughs> only if I wanted to be scorned as a child. I've only been a scold a few years. I've not made any great feats, good or ill. Yet. Farewell. Good journeys. Inquisitor. I spoke to the woman preparing bodies for funeral. She said I might make an offering. Recall them. How would... As a gift? Sly woman. In that case, I'll accept an offering from the hand that gives it. Tradition says the offering's made to Koth. Only creatures who touch the gods' realm will do. I'll mark where some were last spotted. It'd be an unmatched gift, Lolander. I still pity Golden's son, though, losing his father's name. What do you mean? Finn failed to complete the rites. That'll see him disowned when the burial's complete. Wait, so he does this or he's the wrong kind of elf? What? Never mind. You help. He's fatherless whether you do this or not, Inquisitor. Seeing it done will give him some peace, I imagine. Farewell. Farewell. Says what? Excuse me. Ah, you're no fun. not fighting those off alone.
Inquisitor. Still finding it difficult to breathe, but I'm not strewn across the landscape, so thank you. I'm Colette, Professor Kenrick's research assistant. I was hoping to conduct a survey of a Tavinta ruin in the hills. I may not have chosen the best route. You're Kenrick's research assistant, so that makes you a student at the University of Orlais? It does. Why? Orlesian institutions aren't always accepting of elves. So the glances and loud whispers remind me. The university accepts those worthy of admission, though elven students are few. How do you find it there? It's not easy. But this is what I want. And I like working for Professor Kenrick. Elven research students, where publications concerned, their works often deemed not substantial enough for formal credit. But Kenrick cares about people who want to learn. If our research finds an audience, I know my name will be included. What were you hoping to find in the ruin? The Tevinter's time here was brief, but their architecture endured, offering shelter, forming landmarks. Ancient Avar would have encountered these structures, which certainly predate Inquisitor Emeridan. Evaluating the ruins could offer insight into the region's history, once I can get set up. You're still going there? I've read everything we have on Ameridan, and studied up on new excavation techniques. I won't waste this opportunity. If you've a map, I can show you my destination. If you'd be interested in the findings... Stay safe. I will. the Huntmaster described. It often travels with the veil is thin. Many creatures avoid such places.
soldiers. Are we lending a hand? We've beaten back those Hakonite bastards. My men and I will hold here. The Hakonites along the river still pose a threat. After this last battle, we need time to fortify and regroup. What's the situation along the river? Between the Hakonites and the wildlife, this isn't the easiest place to maintain a presence. The river's the best way for the Inquisition to send supplies from Skyhold, or it would be if we could travel safely along it. The Hakonites set up camps near the banks, and they attack anyone who gets within view. That will be all, Lieutenant. Sir.
give it to the hold and make Finn's life shit. Or give it to Finn. We help him. Not ask him. Do it. A generous thought that bends the laws of their tradition. Whether the Ava or their spirits would see that as an act of kindness or disrespect is hard to say. I have the offering for Calden Enverson. I'll see it properly prepared and sent to Gida. She'll be making the final preparations soon, I imagine. Farewell. Farewell. Inquisitor. Our Huntmaster prepares Cold and Enverson's offering as we speak. This gift is beyond worth. You have my thanks, Inquisitor. I must complete the preparations. I should be off. Lady, keep you. May I help you? I should be off. 